Welcome to the course on ROS2, the next generation robot operating system. Are you a ROS2 user and have you heard about ROS2 as being the next generation ROS? But you are still unsure what ROS2 is and how does it improve or differ from ROS1? Is it really time to migrate to ROS2? Is it easy to install ROS2 and get it up and running? How to create a workspace, a package and how to write programs with ROS2? This course is the right place to address all the questions about ROS2. I am Anis Kuba, professor in computer science, and I have a long experience developing programs with ROS in both academia and industry. At academic level, I have taught ROS for university students, and this allowed me to understand well the problems that make the students struggle to learn ROS and develop solutions to overcome them. I have also developed training programs for learning ROS. In the context of research projects, I developed several softwares for ROS. At industrial level, I have been leading the research and development department of Gatek Robotics, and we have developed aerial and ground robots platform all around ROS. I am also the founder and the maintainer of Gatek EDU portal, and I have edited many books on ROS with Springer. Why I am teaching this course? ROS2 is the next generation robot operating system and is actively being developed to fully replace ROS1 in the near future. With the release of ROS2 Bouncy in July 2018, ROS2 has gained a lot of maturity and most of its design goals were achieved and implemented. However, when I started to learn ROS2, I realized that there is a very little documentation and tutorials about it. There are no courses and only a few short tutorials on the official GIT Hub repository were available, but does not give the overall picture as it does not stand as an official documentation, but rather a technical guide to ROS2. So I had the idea to develop this course, which is the first to the best of my knowledge, to provide a comprehensive coverage of ROS2, starting from explaining the design concepts and goals, installing it on different operating systems, and explaining how to create ROS2 projects in both C++ and Python. This is a course that I wish I could have found it when I started to learn ROS2. The objectives of this course are as follows. First, I will unveil the secrets of ROS2 by explaining its design concepts and how to develop projects with it. I also aim at clarifying the difference between ROS1 and ROS2, THAS, most of the code explanation will compare between the code written in ROS1 and that for ROS2 in both C++ and Python. So, you will have the flexibility to learn how to program in ROS2 either in C++ or in Python or even both together, depending on your background and on your interest. The course also intends to provide a comprehensive coverage of ROS2 ecosystem and will demonstrate how to create a ROS2 workspace ROS2 packages for both C++ and Python, and we discuss in details the implementation aspects of ROS2 topics and services. Furthermore, we discuss the current state of ROS2 and clarify its limitations. At the end of the course, you will be able to recognize the features of ROS2, such as, for example, DDS, which is Data Distribution Service, the design goals as well, you will be able to install ROS2 Bouncy on your Bento operating system using Debian and Mac operating system. You will also learn how to create a workspace in ROS2 and how to create ROS2 packages for both C++ and Python programming languages. You will also have the ability to develop ROS2 programs using topics and services. You will understand how to deal with the documentation of ROS2 and recognize the differences between ROS1 and ROS2. To take benefit from this course, you need to have some familiarity of the basic concepts of ROS1, such as ROS workspace, package, nodes, topics, services. If you don't have enough background on ROS1, then I recommend that you enroll to my course ROS for Beginners, Basics, Motion and OpenCV, and then come back to this course again. You need also to know how to program in C++ and Python. In addition, you should have a basic understanding of the Linux Ubuntu operating system. If you want to be one of the first users to learn ROS2 and be up to date with the next generation robot operating system, which is sooner or later will be fully replacing ROS1, as the ROS developers community is actively pushing toward ROS2, then 
do not let time running out and enroll right away in this course to start your Rose 2 experience.